Does he have your attention? No, he has my attention. CM Punk has returned to wrestling. He made his debut, his seven-year return at All Elite Wrestling Rampage. I didn't think he was going to come back. I had to believe it with my own eyes. I thought it was all talk. I thought even if he did come back, it would be in a non-wrestling role, similar to his deal with Fox. But now nah, CM Punk is back, back in Chicago. And what a reaction, what an ovation he got here. We all thought Cena returning at the last WWE pay-per-view. After the Ed Roman Reigns match got a big reaction. That was nothing compared to what CM Punk got tonight. This was insane. Uh, the, whole, the whole crowd was going mental. We kicked off the AEW show. All you could hear was the CM Punk chants. And then about 30 seconds in. Cult of personality hits. And out comes the best in the world. CM Punk comes out. Jumps into the crowd on his way to the ring. The fucking entrance here lasted longer than his UFC career, man. It was insane. He was milking it and milking it. Um, got into the ring, took a short break, came back. Uh, CM Punk told the crowd that they, they knew how to make a kid feel like Britt Baker in Pittsburgh. Personally, didn't really like that line. I mean, Punk coming back in seven years and, and the first thing he wants to do is mention Britt Baker. If, if I'm being perfectly honest, I, I thought this whole return promo was a little bit underwhelming. Is it better than what ninety? Is it better than what ninety nine percent of the entire AW roster could do? Of course, yes, it is. No, I mean, but I, I was just kind of expecting more from uh, CM Punk. He, he looked like he was he was almost crying. He was almost in tears because of this reaction. He uh, said he wanted to tell us a story, but. It was, he was feeling kind of warm, so he takes off his hoodie, and he's got a shirt similar to his WWE Best in the World shirt, but only it says, I was there. You know, they were, you, I guess he wants people to buy it, you know, for there, for the return of CM Punk. He then goes on to tell a story about Ring of Honor, uh, how, and when he left Ring of Honor, that is when he left professional wrestling, but now he's back in 2021, he's back in professional wrestling, so Punk basically dissing the WWE there, saying that WWE isn't wrestling. I don't know what he thinks of WWE. And then he spoke about how he left, and that a lot of people might not be happy where he left, but he, he says that WWE are making him sick. Now, he's already said this in podcasts, but now he's kind of, he didn't go into it in detail, but he elaborated that, you know, WWE, being in WWE made him sick and, and run down, and that he had to leave. And, um... Not much else. He called it Darby Allen, who was in the rafters with Sting. He says Darby Allen's great. He says a lot of the guys are great, and Darby Allen's the first guy he wants to work with. He says that Darby Allen is a dangerous individual, but the only thing, uh, and so the the, the the but the real danger is CM Punk. So he challenges him to a match at all out, and he says the only thing more dangerous than wrestling CM Punk is wrestling CM Punk in Chicago. So the match gets set, and then Punk. Before he leaves, says there's going to be free ice cream bars for everybody in attendance. So that's a, that's a shitload of free ice cream. But anyway, guys, CM Punk's back. Was it great? In my opinion, no. But it was good. It was all right. Glad to see CM Punk back. Excited to see CM Punk back. I'll give me another reason now to watch AEW, but was I expecting something a bit better? I kind of was. I'm not going to lie. I was. But anyway, it was good. Great to see CM Punk back. And I'll do a full AEW Rampage review once the show is over. But anyway, guys, that is it. Punk's back. Till next time.